Hello, my name is Winston. Uh, today I will dive uh, into MongoDB, its type of uh, NoSQL database. So to begin, uh, I will give you a general agenda for today. So I will, if in the beginning, I'll talk about the key concept of MongoDB, and then I will follow that with the basic MongoDB commands, and then uh, next year I'll do a kind of code demo to show how you can integrate uh, MongoDB with Node. So first thing we need to tell, we need to talk about the difference between SQL and no SQL. Um, essentially, you know the a, a regular SQL is just a relational database, so it contains a lot of tables. Um, but then in no SQL, it's not tables anymore. It's, uh, it could be document, and it could be key value pairs, or it could even be graphs. Um, another difference is how, it def how they define schema. In SQL, you actually have to define all these uh, schema in your, in, uh, in your table, in your database. Uh, so you have to specify that as a type of string, and then you cannot change it. Uh, so every time you insert data into the table, it has to follow that schema. But for SQL, it's dynamic. The schema is dynamic. So uh, that means that even for the same field, you can actually put different uh, data type into that, uh, that field. And another thing is how they scale. Um, for a SQL, you scale vertically. That means that you go up. Uh, you, so in another way, you make your, a single server bigger, more powerful in order to handle the, the node. Um, for node SQL, you do a horizontal scaling. That means that you just divide the server node into, more, into a smaller server. So more server doing the, uh, doing the same work. And another thing is um, th the query language is different. In SQL, you do the select something and then join to join multiple tables together. But in those SQL, uh, mostly they, they actually come with their own kind of language that you can perform on the document. It's, it, it, it depends on what kind of low SQL you, uh, database that you use. And then it'll, uh, no, typically, they will come with their own uh, embedded methods. And for SQL, it follows the asset uh, principles. So what that means is that the, for, I will go to Atomic City. Atomic City, OK. Uh, what that means is that if you do a transaction that has, multiple, that has uh, you, you want to do multiple selection, multiple join, if it, something fails, you get nothing. Um, so that's the Atomic City. And then for, for no SQL, uh, you have three major concepts. One is consistency and availability and partition tolerance. But for these, but it's very difficult to actually achieve these three things. So most uh, no SQL only achieve two things. Uh, for um, yes, and then now uh, since I talk about what's a, uh, what's a no SQL, now I will talk into what's MongoDB. Uh, it's a, actually an open source project that was developed by Tangent. They actually changed their name to MongoDB Company to reflect uh, the major core product and. The, the software was written in C++ uh, because C is very fa is um, a lot faster than other higher level language. And <clears throat> to store this data instead of uh, tables, like what I said before, it will be connection. Connection is not the table. Uh, it's not the tables in the relational database. And so each can each connection holds documents. The the document is like the rows in each table. And the document used uh, BSON uh, syntax. BSON is just a binary uh, JSON, so it, it allows it, it allows the JSON to host more data type, uh, more data type. For example, uh, dates and binary, and also, and but for each document, it can only hold uh, 16 mega, uh, megabytes. So there's a limit for each uh, document, but you can also surpass. Uh, there's a way to surpass a limit by breaking. Uh, by breaking a bigger document into a smaller document. Uh, we will, I will talk that deeper later. Um, so there's several core some, uh, concepts with MongoDB. One is uh, replica uh, replication. So you, in, in, order to, in order to ensure that your data are available to, uh, to clients, so you just, you need, it's better if you replicate your data to multiple servers. So, it's like, so if one server goes down, the another server can take over. To, uh, to render the request from clients. And 
they also have another technique called auto sharing. So it's um, it's uh, distributing data across uh, multiple uh, machine. That's how they do the horizontal scaling by develop, uh, by distributing uh, the database over multiple servers. So it can ha it can render the uh, client request faster. And yeah, and things in MongoDB, there's no join. So they use uh, some, a concept called map reduce. It just congregate a huge data set and then output, a, output it into a one single data set. And another concept is called grid FS. So in, in relational da uh, database, you have difficulty storing uh, all, all your file because it's so big. But for MongoDB, you can actually break the file into smaller pieces. And then you can bring, and then you can store each pieces into into each document. Um, there, are, I mean, since there are so many options to, uh, for database, like this this time where it's better to use MongoDB, and then there's also time where it's not that good. Uh, but MongoDB is good when you have huge amount of data, and 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 you need to scale it very easily. Um, also, what is not good for MongoDB is that when you have a rigid schema structure that you need to maintain, because, um, because MongoDB doesn't have that uh, predefined schema, so if you need that, it's, it's very, you cannot do that in, in MongoDB. And also, if you have no, uh, no uh, memory, because uh, for MongoDB, since you are storing a lot of data, if you have no memory, you, sh you shouldn't uh, use MongoDB. And in, in MongoDB, there are two types of data modeling. One is called embedded. Essentially, it, just like the diagram say, uh, looks like, it just kind of like JSON inside another JSON. Uh, for reference, you just stored a JSON ID into the parent's uh, JSON, and then you can reference to the, the object ID. Um, so MongoDB comes with its uh, operations. Uh, it's a little bit different from the relational data, database. For example, like, uh, it has a showing database. Uh, to show all database, you just show, you just type in command show dbs, and to read, you, you type in db dot the connection name that you specify, and then dot find query. At the bottom, you can find the, essentially the find, you just pass in um, the, t the, uh, the criteria that you look for, and also, it support that uh, in order to find, sometimes you want to filter your data, you can do the dollar sign and then GT means greater than. So over on that slide, I want to specify pe uh, people who are older than age 18. And to create, you just uh, do DB doc uh, document name that is specified and then insert the document. The, those, the document is just a kind of like JSON syntax, uh, syntax, so you just insert the whole JSON. Obviously, you can insert multiple uh, JSON when you, when, for each insert. And MongoDB comes with, with multiple language support, so you can, like, if JavaScript is not your favor, uh, flavor, you can use uh, with Scala, C++, uh, PHP, so um, I'm pretty sure there's one, you will find one that you like. And so MongoDB comes with a native, uh, native, na native driver, but then there's also a, there's also other ODM library that I can use. They provide an abstraction, abstraction over the native, um, native MongoDB driver. But the problem with that is that if you use the OD, if you use the o ORM, that means that you are also you have you have to take out more plugin and drivers and there's more de dependencies that might slow down the operation. But underneath, it still uses native MongoDB drivers, and it's just that the ORM is just easier to maintain because uh, it's it's uh, it, it, the syntax is more friendly to developers. Um, And in the following, I will show a basic uh, code demo on how to integrate MongoDB with Node. And uh, I'll be using MongoNav for the server st uh, storage, so you can store it on, on the server instead, on, instead of locally. Okay. 
So here I'm using a MongoDB uh, library called Mongoose. And typically, they, the, the thing with Mongoose is, uh, as I said before, MongoDB is schema free, but then the Mongoose, they actually want you to define your schema. So typically, you define your schema in another library. For example, here is songs. So there's uh, all these schema that you need to define. Um, so for easier way to demo, so I will just show the, uh, I'll put all the files, I'll, I'll put all the code in one file, but normally you should make the code more modular. So at the top, this MongoDB URL is the server URL that, that, that I connect to, it's the MongoNAP URL. And then, so you need to define your schema. And then, and then you just specify what kind of data you want to insert, and then you, and then at the bottom you just save all these data, and they will populate the uh, the connection. And in, and to use MongoDB with Node, you just use the same as as you normally use, do the app that gets, and then specify the server, the routes, and then inside the server route you do the uh, schema, and then find the specific requirement that you want to find. And then, so here I will show that So here you can see that there's not, uh, in the connection there's nothing on it, but once I run the once I run the code, you will see it being populated. Um, so now if I go to local host, if I go to local host, you, you will get the three uh, data set that I specify. And then since I use a remote server, um, If I refresh this page, you will see that there are three data sets on the remote server. That's the end of my TED talk. Thank you.